Let's go and look at what's in this suitcase full of RC. Whoa. A lot of other junk here. Where's the zip? These suitcases are full of all the broken and bits of car I come across and I just chuck them in and when I've got more time open them up and have a look at what we've got often it does just get thrown in and I don't really know what I've got here so let's have a look firstly what's this this looks to be a Tamiya TGS, quite clean, different wheels on it, not the original, but other parts look pretty original on it. Will it turn over? Oh, the pool star looks alright. Yep, that seems in decent order probably gonna work uh, let me get try and get the stand on this so uh, we can get um, better close-ups let's have a look front diff working rear diff working see if the four-wheel drive works oh yeah so this looks in pretty good shape if I can find that radio box cover the underneath's not too worn out this will probably fix up pretty well right what's next Ooh. what's this horrible thing this is a Kyosho Pure 10 Alpha Kyosho Pure 10 Alpha. Plenty of tread on the tyres. No rear diff. We got the shafts there, but they're just spinning. Front diff working. Mm. Four wheel drive not working. Engine seems a bit loose just held on by the throttle let's get this out right that's a bit better with the lights where are we with this engine well it seems to have just fallen out is it turning turning over pistons going up and down Pretty smooth, throttle working, it's probably going to be a run of that, looks alright. Chassis, oh, not overly worn out here, probably salvageable this. Right, what's next? What's this shiny thing here? Big exhaust. I think we're going to need this in a project. More rummaging. Anyone guess what this is? I'm not the biggest Tamiya fan, but it looks Tamiya. Damper's all right. No, f no front shafts, no front differential in there. No back shafts, no rear differential. Got a couple of servos. Well, 
Right. If anyone can identify that Tamiya, let me know in the comments. What's this? A similar looking Tamiya. In pretty poor shape. Are they the same? Are these the same Tamiyas? One's got blue bits. Chassis look the same. Missing bits. Will I make, be able to make one good one out of the two of these? I don't think so. There don't seem to be any differentials in either of them. We've got an old knackered battery here. Jammed in there. Oh, let's get this out. What's the chances of this working? Anyway, I'm recycling for that. Don't think I'm going to get two uh, good, one good car out of these two. So they're probably just going to go in the Tamiya pile. If you know what Tamiya they are, let me know. Right, what's next? Battery cover for that Pure 10 Alpha. <sighs> Bit of an engine here. What do we have? Otec. Otec and some glue. And what's under the glue? Oh, no mount there. So uh, this engine's not going to go far. But doesn't seem to be a hole in the crankcase. Is it turning? It's turning. Pistons going up and down. Sounds all right. Sounds all right. <sighs> Throttle in and out. Probably going to work this, but with no mount on that side. What are we going to do? Protec. Protec engine this. 3.5. Looks to be of the Force 3.5 family, so uh, might have another case. can put the internals in. Look in the box. Is there a wire? Not sure why this is here. Looks to be speaker wire. Tire. Old. Another tire. Amps to playing things. What's this down here? Another engine. Another GX12. Was that the one we were looking at? Or is this a different one? No plug. Sounds good. Smooth. Throttle okay. Probably weren't going to work that. And what's this? Controller. High tech flash 4 FM. But look, this is the pro car one. So these flash 4s, they got made in various configurations, but the car ones have a locked throttle and a left and right. So effectively, they only operate on two channel. Whereas uh, the flash 4 planes and heli ones had sticks that moved in all ways. But this is the car one. So it's a bit rare from racing back in the day because it would have been on 40 megahertz FM, had some computer program functions and was for racing cars in a stick controller format. So this is worth fixing for me, especially for the vintage uh, racing categories now. This is something that people probably want or rem reminds them of good times racing cars back in the day. And not to mention there's not a whole host of stick controllers available that are affordable. So even though it's on the older 40 megahertz FM, you could upgrade it to 2.4. Few computer programs it means it's actually a reasonable racing piece of equipment still. Right, we'll try and fix that. Let's have a look in the battery case. Oh, these terminals look all right. Hopefully this will be all right.
rear diff from a TS4 in Thunder Tiger. Let's put that to the side. That looks like another part from the Thunder Tiger. Oh, here's that Tamiya battery cover. So that's good in that pile. What do we have in here? Exhaust to 1 8 fuel tank. Financial Times, that's a shit paper. Oh, what's this? <coughs> hmm. A lot more of that TS4N. One of the later ones with the... Oh, that's a nice chassis. That's pretty nice, that, isn't it? Hasn't been run. Oh, well, what's this? Two-speed. Rare on the TS4N. So we've got TS4N, two-speed, unused chassis, belts feel tight, four-wheel drives working. Okay, loads of parts missing. Looks like a Tamiya ball joint on the end there. Same on that side. Very clean damper, that. I like this. That's going to be worth uh, restoring because uh, it's going to come up looking pretty, pretty mint and has the rare two speed. TS4N. This is a U chassis from a TS4N. That's what they look like after you run them <laughs> into the ground, <laughs> literally. That's very common for a nitro chassis underneath. Bit of an engine here. The 12, it is turning smoothly. Yep, you can hear the compression and it is smooth. The throttle smooth. So this actually, engine's probably all right in that. Put it with these TS4N parts. Front diff from a TS4N. Yeah, that looks in reasonable order. Belt is all right. See, in this pile here, we're fast building up a TS4N now. Wheels, 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 more wheels, more wheels, wheels, more wheels. What's this? This is a Great Vigor Models Rex X Nitro Buggy. These are pretty good buggies, actually. And what's this uh, dog poo bag here? Has it got dog poo in it? Right, let's do the buggy first. Centre diff, all right. Spare gear looks all right. Too big for the camera. Rear diff feels good. Suspension all right. Um, quite a lot of good parts on that. Keep someone's buggy going. Right, let's check this bag. we got here some fancy dampers some TS4N dampers a few TS4N parts and springs put that in this pile I think that's to go with them spare gear TS4N Now this diff is not from a car we've seen yet. That looks to be from a HPI Nitro RS4. So let's get that in that box. Chrome shiny exhaust for that big one. 
so this probably joins together with this like this somehow we'll look at that Pro 21 Thunder Tiger what's the chances of this turning none <laughs> Uh, full start is functional. Right, let's try and unseize this later. Carb is actually sliding. But that is well rusted. It looked like it had been at the bottom of the sea. Might be able to get it going though. That'll be another video. Wheels, 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 wheels. Shim, diff shims, camber plates. Anyone recognize this packet from a kit they've had? Let me know. Bit odd, diff shims, camber plates in one packet, but it's sealed. Let me know in the comments. And just get through the small stuff because there's a lot of wheels here still. Lacquered bearing. Um Oh, GX15 here. This is the 15. The Kyosho Big Block. Sounds pretty good. Sliding. This looks quite decent, this. This is the biggest one-tenth Kyosho engine uh, they made from the era before they went to the later generation and they had an 18. Oh, what's this on the front? Two-speed clutch bell. They're a bit rare in the in this era of Kyo Show the two-speed versions. Wheel. Kyo. All right, more of these parts with the purple anodized ball joints. I do recognise this to be bits from a. HPI RS4. That's where this diff would go back in. Fit on like that. Or this way maybe. Let's just clip that on. That ball joint. Keep these parts together. Clip this on. Got the steering mechanism. Hopefully this can fix up an RS4 I'll find. Right, chassis. Another Pure 10 Alpha Nitro. Missing a shaft there. Is turning. Oh, what's this? But this is the two speed. Are all the teeth there? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. This is a bit of a holy grail if you're into uh, these uh, Kyosho Pure 10 Alphas. Uh, very rare for them to be two speed and in a functioning state. Gives you so much more performance out of what is a relatively basic chassis. And just, yeah, just one of the top performance parts you can get for it. So we've got the bell from this GX15 and we've got the two speed. That's the two bits. And yeah, someone's gonna really appreciate having that. We'll have an in-depth look at it after. Front of the chassis, diff working. So 
suspension moving mount from an older one there not too bad and another chassis this one's got some servos on it and this is it for comparison the single speed this is what 99% of them are just the one spare gear here. again missing a shaft I think because these shafts just used to fall out when you were running them I remember playing with one of these for a few weeks back in the day and uh, always having to be on shaft patrol I actually remember um, I think spray painting them fluorescent uh, with fluorescent paint because they fell out so often and you'd have to look for them so often that I just thought I'm going to make them bright so that at least I can find them quickly. There is stuff you can do. I did I did that, put little rubber O-rings in there to keep them in the central place. But I think the tolerances were just so bad, they'd, all, they'd always just fall out. Front end, which is where they mainly fell out from. Shaft missing. Shaft missing on their side. Suspension seems all right. Steering seems all right. Right. So there you go. That's a rundown of this bag. We'll have another bag for you in a couple of weeks' time. Let me know if you recognise anything in the comments below. Anything of greater interest to you? Any ideas for it? I try and uh, make a few videos of the more interesting stuff. Um, uh, this bag we'll try and unseize that engine we'll look at the two-speed gearbox from the pure 10 alpha and uh, those tamias <laughs>